Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now you might be thinking, why am I not in a cardboard box room? Why am I walking down the street? Well, I'm on my way to my local game store. That's right, I'm gonna try out some Lorcana. And you might be thinking, why Lorcana? Well, it's a card game, I collect cards, and I enjoy TCGs. I don't want to be in this one from the start in case they decide to release Marvel and Star Wars expansions in the future. So I have arrived at the local game store, the Geek Retreat, and I'm going to get in and play some Lorcana. Awesome, thank you. Right. So. So. Do I need a, do um, I need a deck? Do you need them? Yes. So we've got two. We've got the health deck, which is just um, one of the starter decks. Okay. So this is the Emerald and Ruby deck. So it's okay. Aladdin and Cruella de Vil. Okay. Um, cool. I have a Emerald and Purple deck. So the first thing you need to do is shuffle the deck. Yep. Like, like most card games, if you I am very much an amateur. That is fair enough. <laughs> Wait, play cards. So the aim of the game is to get up to 20 and we yep. have to produce 20 lore. So the first thing you do is dice roll to see if you want to go first. Who's going first. Is this a D20? That's a D20. Uh, D20. Yeah, D20. Yeah, okay. So you got 10. Um. Is a eight. eight. So you can either go first or second. You can choose whatever you want to do. Um, I think I'll go first. Okay, okay. So we draw seven cards to begin with. Yeah. Okay. So I will show my hand just to reveal some of the things. How much do you know about the ink system on? So I know the differentiation between what's an ink and what's not. Yes. Uh, I can't remember how many ink you can play. So you can play one ink per one ink turn. One ink per turn, okay. Um, and you can instantly use the ink to summon creep, like summon characters. Yep, yeah. okay, got you. Um, before we start playing the game, if you want to have a look at your cards to see if you want to swap any, you're allowed one swap before um, you are like finalised with your cards. So I'm going to swap a few of mine. And if you swap it, do you discard it or do you put it back so you into your deck? Put it at the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck. And then you just redraw the menu the same amount as you discarded. Like okay. Per box. Although I have no idea what I'm doing. Yes. I think I'm gonna redraw one as well. Okay. Since you won the dice roll, um, you don't draw if you're the first person going, like playing. Yep. And oh, um, with the um, with the play sheet, it has like a turn order, so this is pretty much how you can ready set draw. Yeah. Yep. Draw. Uh, so ready with cards, which means just like if you've had cards that are like that, you just turn the face up again. Yep. Um, set is start the turn of start of the turn effects happen. So if they said at the start of your turn such and such happens, that's what that does, and then draw is you draw your card. And then once the turn you can add a card to your ink well, which will be explained, you can play a card, they show, so you've got character cards, items, actions, songs. Those are all the ones you just have to keep tabs on. Okay. Um, so I won the dice roll, so I go first. Yeah. Okay. So you, yeah, choose a character that you think you won't need as um, you might not want to play right now as an ink. So, oh, no. Opposite way around, but you don't want to play as a character, you can use the ink right now. Yeah, so I think I've got the one I'm going to use as ink. Yep, so what you do is you show the other person what card you're going to use. Okay. Yep, and, and then captain. you put in the ink. Uh, ink well in there, yep. Yep. Okay. And then if you have a one tap card, I just need to save a little bit. There you go. Yep. So if you've got a one tap card, similar to the Pascal I had just now, you can either play that or you'll have to wait next turn if you have a two or a three, uh, if you have a two card. So I am going to play, I'm going to play Tibbs. Yes, so you and then I've, I've used that one. Yes. Okay. And since you play Tibbs, 
um, the way I show it is I put them slightly above the board. Right, okay. Once they, they pretty much have this term called summoning sickness, which means they are in play, but unless they, um, unless they have an effect that says when played, they can't do anything for a turn. Got yeah. But yeah. next turn you can either um, you can quest or attack. Yeah. So then it's my go, because I'm going second, I get to draw a card. I think I'm going to use Sven, the one that I just drew, I think well. Yep. And I'm going to play um, Pascal. So, that will be my turn done, because I can't do anything, because he's yep. just been played. So it's now your go. So, I am so, ready. So yeah, ready everything. So I, this is just how I do it, just so it's easier for me to visualize. Now that he's in play, I just put him in like the card area. Right, okay, cool, just yeah. Just because it's easier, as I said, just easier to see yep. like, what's happening. Um, so if, when he's in play for me, I'll put him down there, but for now he's up there. Um, then now we draw a card. Um, okay, sure. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, so I think this is a pretty strong card, but because I'm just a beginner, I'm getting there, I don't think I'm going to get to play it. Yes. I reckon you're going to hammer me before <laughs> I even get to it. So I'm going to turn... Oh no, I can't do that. No, you has got no ink. I've messed up already. That's alright. <laughs> We're learning. Okay, as much as I... Yeah, I'm going to put Mickey in. Mickey. Ink. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to... Put down. What does the? Uh, oh no, that's that must be ink. That must be ink. The chosen oh, character gets. Do you want me to look at for help? Is that plus two ink? So that is plus two power. Plus two power. Sorry. Yes. So there when you go. play this character, you yep. can choose Tibbs to attack. However, the only way you can attack is if someone's questing. Yeah. So if someone's tapped like this, you can then attack. Them. Yeah, you can't attack them. But you can't attack active, when yeah. they're. Like okay, so, so I'm good. not going to play that one, I'm going to play this one instead. And then Tibbs, I'm going to, so I'm going to quest him. Yep, and that means you get, get one. one yeah, one, okay. Ready? Cool. And then, that means I've used... Yeah, so you've used those two. To I've used those two to do that, to do that. yeah. Okay, and then that so be... that's the end of my turn. Yep, that's the end of okay. your turn. So I will... Draw my card, everything's stationed already. Yep. So, and then I will play Dr. Facilier um, to be more ink card. Yep. To be more ink. Pascal moves down, he's now in play. Um, but then I will play Aladdin. So, a interesting thing about Pascal, he has a thing called camouflage, where while you have another character in play, this character is being evasive. This is here in quotation, um, in uh, brackets. Only characters with eva uh, evasive can challenge them. So, yep. Sergeant Tibbs can't challenge Pascal because he doesn't have the term evasive on him. Yep. Um, however, if I want to. Um, to attack Pascal to Sergeant Tibbs, the attack will still go through because I'm the one declaring that I want to yep. attack. But okay. for now, I am just going to uh, tap for So I'm using, there's a little companion app that you can get for Lorcana yep. and it, it has like a little more counter on here, so I'm just going to tap one there. It is now. Yeah, my turn. So I'll take one. And then he goes back. He goes there and then the ink gets reset. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to down Scar as ink. So I've got three now. I'm gonna play I'm gonna play Mickey. Yep. So these two I will quest them both and move that up to three. Okay, I'm going to show a full mechanic, so I'm going to get rid of Megara, um, and I'm going to put her as equal, then I'm going to tap E3 to summon uh, Rafiki. So he has this terminology called Rush, which is this character can, cha um, can challenge the turn that they've been played. So unlike Aladdin, which took one turn before he can come to um, be able to press or to challenge, I think he can do it straight away. Yep. He can't quest straight away, but he can challenge straight away. 
So okay. I'm going to, and this is a good way to show how damage works as well. So yeah. I'm going to challenge. You're going to take Tibbs out. I'm going to take, Sally going to take Tibbs. Goodbye Tibbs. So Tibbs so is gone. He gets put in the discard. And you get two. So I get two. So now Rafiki is on. So usually you would use one of these. So yep. you would just put that there. Minus, minus two for that one. So you put two minus one counters yep. on. Because you can also use guy. You can pretty much use anything. So I usually say... I usually say you put one there because then you can tell that they've got one shield left. But you can also do it like that where they're like. They've so you got know they've taken two damage. Yeah. yeah okay. So depending how people like to play, you can either put one saying they've got one shield left, or you can do two saying they've got two damage. So I'll do it like that for you. So. Okay. And then the rest, I am going to quest. So that's two more. Right okay. Now. Right, so I'll draw and then I will ready these guys and I should have turned those back over shouldn't I but that's all right. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ink my gold now. So we've got four. <laughs> you can attack these two things. Yeah. So, you... so. That one with Mickey. If you attack with Mickey, you will kill Rafiki, and then you will be on one life, and Rafiki will die. Or you can trade and get Rafiki. Uh, I want to get rid of that Pascal, but I haven't got camouflage, which is annoying. So I'm gonna. Hey, I go. And he's got Reckless. Mm -hmm. So, can I play that on Aladdin? Yes, so he's now not allowed to attack next turn. So, if you tap Iago. Oh. E, so, they can't so, quest, yeah. so they can only. They can only challenge if able. And must challenge so, if able. And that little, that little symbol there just means you can turn it like that. Right, so I've used him. And then, if I use Lefu to attack. Rafiki. Yeah, he has three attacks and the crew will also die. Yeah, so they'll both die. Okay. Um, but Mickey won't die. This Mickey time. won't die, no, that's yeah, right. So, so I should probably use Mickey to attack him. So Rafiki now then. And, and that leaves Mickey on one. Yes, so I'll just move the counter. Yep, and then I'll quest on a food for a four. Okay. Yeah. So that brings me back up to 12. Okay. Let's take the cards. Uh, and then set. So I am going to. Uh, free, I'm going to play the five. Because it's the only card I've got. So I might as well play still from the rich. So whenever I quest, whenever one of your characters quests this turn, each opponent loses one. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you do three, I lose three points. Oh, rich, what, it adds so up, does it? Yes. And does it discard <laughs> after I've used it? Uh, as it's an action and not an item, it does. Yeah, okay. So essentially I have to quest because that's how I'm going to benefit the most, aren't I? Yes. So one, two, three, and I gain four. So, yes, so uh, you quest. 14, no, where was I? 13. Yeah. So, so 17. Yeah. yeah, look, you're almost winning. I'm on nine now because you pulled that out. Well, I mean, that is pure luck really, isn't it? It's like a lot of the time it is what card you get. Yeah, and can, I've not been putting any ink down, so to have one that yeah. powers up to five, yeah. So, I am going to And I'm going to use Ursula's Cauldron. It says she just, I get to see the, what's, this is an item for this stays in. Yep, okay. So I just have to tap it and I get to look at the top two cards of the deck and put one on the top and one on the bottom. Ooh. So you're going. Ooh. 
literally uh, all you have to do is stand the back up and say you want to quest and then you want yeah um i mean i will quest yeah. but yeah there you go. no that was good fun yeah there you that go. was awesome That's yeah how it pretty much played. hey so welcome back i am now in the box room which is more of my comfort zone but i had a great time in my local game store checking out what was going on for Lorcana and I picked up my pre-order as you might have seen and I'll more than likely open these in a future video. My main aim today for in picking the stuff up was to have a little go at the gameplay so I went through the tutorial as you probably saw pointing out a few bits and pieces of the gameplay so I hope you found that interesting and then I signed up to the league so I'm going to be participating in that probably just one day a week or something like that and I played my first competitive well I say competitive I played my first league game so we were playing it properly without any hints or tips I wasn't using my own deck I was using somebody else's <laughs> I want to see any jokes in the comments about that anyway um, yeah I played fairly well in the first game considering I don't really play that many TCGs and I probably haven't played Bond properly for a long long time and the first game was very close I only just lost and the second game uh, I was just absolutely battered but anyway um, for joining up to the league I got um, given a, a nice little common Tinkerbell which is nice and I got a pack as well so I'm going to open up the pack this video isn't without any openings or anything like that. I really did enjoy the game. It was very easy to pick up. And uh, now I've got, yeah, I've just got to, I've got to get on and, and um, I've got to build my own deck. I've got to learn some of the strategies and stuff like that. These are really cool. And the QR codes, I think, and uh, four of these join up to make um, a big picture of Mickey. I think it's based on the um, one of the more powerful cards that's in the set, which we might get in this pack. So there are a few commons uh, noted by that symbol at the bottom. Sergeant Tips, he come out a few times. So did Dinglehopper. And I uh, didn't see uh, Gasma or the uh, Stolen Skintar. They weren't in any decks. Break, so we're still on the commons. Now we're gonna get to the uncommons be our guest which is a song and I didn't really use many songs and then we've got a Simba that's nice and then we've got a Tigger I'm not gonna say it because I'll probably get it wrong um, and then, so then we've got some rares so there's I believe there's rare super rare and it might be epic or, or something like that I'm still learning so action just in time and then what have we got at the back? We should get a foil in it. So I think this is just a rare, that's Robin Hood. And then, yeah, what's our foil at the back? So it's, um, oh, that is a rare, that's a rare. So it is a rare, the foil. Ooh, got a Captain Hook. Not too bad, that's nice. A rare foil in my first pack of Lorcana. I will hopefully be uploading a few more videos very very soon hopefully some with more gameplay some proper gameplay and not just a tutorial so if you enjoyed that why not hit the like button and if you're enjoying the channel i know it's kind of all over the place at the moment but you know i am a collector of cardboard uh, then hit the subscribe button and i'll see you all very soon